Could the Hulk happen? Let's see if it holds up. Incredible Hulk is certainly incredible. He's also tied with Spidey for being my favorite Marvel hero, mostly for his Bruce Banner side. Gotta love the suffering this character goes through, only to overcome it each time. The mild-mannered man against the raging beast is classic, but Hulk puts its own spin on it to make them one and the same. Incredible. But how is it possible? Unfortunately, the idea of the Hulk doesn't have a lot of strength. See, the Hulk was created when an explosion of gamma rays hit Bruce Banner's body. Or was he? More on that in a little bit. So Bruce was caught up in the blast of a gamma bomb created by him for the American military. According to the original comics, Bruce was miles from the explosion source, but he was still blasted with the rays. So what happens when a gamma ray hits you? Wait, 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 wait. What are gamma rays? Well. Basically, gamma rays are rays of energy that exist on a different spectrum than from what is visible to us on other spectrums, like rainbows. These rays are actually pretty powerful, and can create the most powerful explosions that we currently know of. See, therein lies the issue. Even if Bruce was miles and miles from that explosion source, if the blast still hit him, he'd be dead. In fact, he'd likely be incinerated. So how did he survive? There's not really an explanation. Like Iron Man told him in the Avengers, he should be dead. Unfortunately, that means that, most likely, the Hulk isn't a known possibility in real life. And therein lies an argument as well. A known possibility. Things don't become possible just because we discover them to be. When something's true, or in this case possible, whether or not we know it's possible doesn't affect that it's possible. See, the Hulk technically wasn't created by the Gamma Blast. In fact, he was created early on in Bruce's childhood. Bruce had an abusive father, and his mother died when he was young, so Little Banner had a pretty traumatic childhood. In real life cases like Bruce's, kids often develop an imaginary friend, but it's a little different from something that's just blue and running around causing trouble. When kids develop these friends, they really develop a separate personality that they just switch to, thinking they're actually talking to that quote-unquote person. This is actually a mental disorder called Disassociative Identity Disorder. Kids will create this other person in their own mind that they think is real, often to have someone to protect them. Imagine it's like two people in one body, but the other person is just an act that the kid thinks is real. In Bruce's case, this makes pretty good sense. Since Bruce's father beat him up a lot, Bruce created another person, an imaginary protector. The Hulk. Someone who could protect Bruce, who could take on his dad and win who could teach Bruce how to be tough. Of course, Bruce later on realized he had a disorder and forgot about Hulk, realizing he wasn't real. But mental disorders don't really just go away at will. The disorder remained in Bruce's mind deep in its recesses. That is, until Bruce was hit by the Gamma Blast in his adulthood. Somehow, the Gamma Energy caused the Hulk to not only reappear, but to become more real. The Hulk could now become the dominant personality in Bruce's body whenever Bruce encountered too much stress. So how does he change size, muscle mass, and turn green? This video I'll put down in the description. A scientist from Stanford actually spoke about how this might happen. And again, he actually talks a lot about how there are mysteries in the process that gamma radiation puts on the body. I'll let you guys find out from that video exactly how that works. What I will explain is how the Hulk might turn green, since it's short and simple. There are metabolites that can form in your body during cell destruction, and there are metabolites in hemoglobin, which is what carries oxygen to your blood. Metabolites are substances formed to help maintain your metabolism, basically maintain your energy. So metabolites would certainly be involved with the Hulk, since he's amped on energy all the time. Found in both of the previously mentioned metabolites is a kind of metabolite called biliveritin. Metabolites being present in your blood, they could certainly affect not only the color of your blood, but also the color of your skin. And guess what? Bilveridin is green. There's not much more to say on that, really. Again, I'll let the scientists do the talking on this one. So, that's sort of it. There's technically a completely logical explanation for how the Hulk exists, but currently, 
we don't know of a way to actually have someone turn into the Hulk like Bruce Banner does. It's a mystery. But hey, there's still a lot that we don't know, and there's plenty of mysteries out there. So, who knows? We might just find something absolutely incredible one day. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed watching the episode of Science Behind Superheroes. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and leave a comment as to what superheroes are building you guys want to see next. This was a shorter episode because that's kind of all there is to the Hulk idea right now. There are going to be episodes like that, keep in mind, where it's like, maybe it's not all that likely that it could happen or anything like that. And that's just going to be episodes like that sometimes. It's not always going to be like Spider-Man where it's actually a totally plausible theory or anything like that. But there will be videos where it is. So it's, again... The idea of this series is not only to have fun with it and explain things that could actually happen that are pretty cool, it's to keep an open mind about stuff, look at possibilities, and see if maybe it could happen, maybe it couldn't. Again, big thanks to Zane Little for commenting about the Hulk. This episode happened because of him. Go check out his channel, guys. He does some pretty cool stuff. And yeah, guys, that's it for today. Have a good one.